Hello guys, and today I'm going to read a 12 day out of date cauliflower cheese pie. Here it is, and the used by date is the 10th of January. Recently, Rishi Sunak um, was given a £100 penalty fine for taking the seat belt off while he was a passenger in the back seat of a car. I could not have known that on the 10th of January. Okay. Um... It says short crust pastry base filled with cauliflower red cheddar and vintage cheddar cheeses and cream topped with cheddar cheese, millet and fennel. And and BBC news stories include six more classified documents seized at Biden home, Windsor concert to Mark King's coronation weekend, World celebrates through the New Year, Smithstone's U Bank in Manchester with stoppage win, and Brazil's army chief. Sacked after Congress riots. Um, there's too many to provide links to for now. I could not have known such things at the time. Okay. So now I'm going to open it. Right, before I do, it says short crust pastry filled with cauliflower and potato in a creamy cheddar sauce. So I told you originally what was on the back. That's what's on the front. That was the back which I read earlier. And it's also got some heating instructions. It tells you to put it in the oven for 25 minutes. It says it's not suitable for microwave heating or cooking from frozen. So you have to defrost it before using it. And it says warning hot filling, which um, it isn't at the moment, but it will be obviously when you put it in the oven. I don't know why they feel the need to tell people that. Warning, hot filling. Of course the filling is going to be hot if you put it in the oven. What do people expect? Do people think if you put it in the oven for 25 minutes, the filling is going to be absolutely st freezing? But this is the kind of lunacy we have these days, just so somebody can't sue somebody for something. And so it's quality and freshness. Our expert bakers make the pastry for our pies just the way you'd make it at home, giving a crumbly shortcut pastry. The fillings are cooked for tenderness and flavour. The pastry case is then deep filled. And it gives you things like you can, it says you can put it in the freezer. It's also got some recycling information here. And I bought this a day it was about to expire. Normally it would be £1.65. I got it for 41p from Tesco. Obviously it's from Tesco because it's Tesco branded. Um... Around the edge, you just see pretty much the same thing. No matter what side you turn it to, it's practically the same thing. In fact, it is exactly the same. They put the same picture, everything, on all four sides. There you go. Right, so now I'm going to open it and have some hair so you can quickly use just your finger. And now I'm going to take the pie out. Which is probably a bad idea, but never mind. And this is what it looks like before it's cooked. I'm just going to put my finger in a minute to check it's not gone mouldy or anything like that. That's what it looks like inside. I shouldn't really have done that, but I did it anyway just to make sure that it's not gone completely mouldy or anything like that. This is 12 days out of date. Now I'm going to just cover it back up again. And now I'm going to put this in the oven, okay? And after I've put it in the oven, I'm going to eat it, okay? Right, guys.
Okay, right, guys. And now, I've got it, okay? So, while I eat it, I'll try to mention some of the ingredients, okay? Right, now, as I said, I'm going to take this out now, so I'm going to take it out of the foil. Do this carefully, otherwise there'll be a mess everywhere. Now, this is on a heated plate, which I heated on the oven. Now I'm going to cut it open. There you go. That's what it looks like, okay? So you see lots of heated cheese, okay? You see some steam coming out of it. And it's quite cold at the moment, so I'm going to probably have to eat this quite quickly, okay? So, it looks like it's just mostly um, pastry with cheese and probably onion and potato things and a lot of breadcrumbs on the top, probably. Bear in mind, is also 12 days out of date, so... It has been in the free your fridge, but it hasn't been in the freezer. Okay, so I could have put it in the freezer, um, and that, but that would have been cheating. Okay, it wouldn't have been in the spirit of eating out of date food. Okay, realistically, because it would probably keep a month at least in the freezer. But I've just kept it in the fridge. Okay. But it is um, January, it's quite cold, so you know, things might keep a bit more than not longer. Just because, it also, the fridge keeps things cooler in the winter, I think, than in the summer, generally. Um, it shouldn't be like that, but it is. Oh, yeah, see... Actual pastry seems quite crunchy. Um, don't actually going slightly stale or anything like that, but there's a bit stiff on the top. Maybe it's slightly overcooked. I don't know, but. But the rest of it, difficult to plant it through it, but the rest of it is quite um, soft, so I can easily eat the rest of it, so. Often, for example, when I um, heat pies for my mum that we get from Tesco's, um, steak pies sometimes, I cut the crusts off. As it can be a bit stiff if you. I just don't like super bad, but it's quite brittle and stiff. An example there, look, it snapped, okay? And if I take the bottom part, an example like here, I just. It will not really snap, it sort of snaps, but not quite, it's very sort of. Probably where something like this, and go top and just pull it, it will not really come. You have to put it, provide an awful lot of pressure to do it. So, a lot of pressure to do it. So, yeah, it might be going bits just because of you no, know, it's out of date. It's pasty, but never mind. Inside is fine. Um, um, I can definitely taste cheese. Um, cauliflower, I'm not so sure about. I don't think I really taste much of it. It may be me. 
But I think I'm mostly a the taste of cheese. Um, I'm just going for quite a lot of colour salad, so I'm going to take a slice and put it on the spoon. Turn it around this way. Um, you can see, wait a minute, see what it looks like. It's hard to tell on the spoon, but if you look, it looks like a layer below. Just below the pastry, and so if I hold it like that, looks like there's a cheese thing on the top. There's the breadcrumbs, and there's the cheese layer, and then there's a the cauliflower layer. Okay. And if I pull some of it back, you'll see what I mean by the cauliflower layer. And this is the cauliflower layer. Once I've taken the cheese layer off, I know there's still some cheese on there, but I can. A lot of the cheese off and that's the cauliflower layer with a small amount of cheese on top so I'll put the cheese back on that's pretty much how it was um, you're not really supposed to eat it like this supposed to really eat it with a knife and fork but I'm going to cheese I know people will cringe but if you can eat um, people like that um, I mean, it applies like that. I mean, to be fair, um, you can get pies, steak and kidney pies, from the fish and chip shop. Um, and you can eat those while you're walking along, and you'd have to use your fingers to do it. So, you know. And this is roughly the size of like, like a, a steak and kidney pie or the sort of pie you might get from a fish and chip shop. But obviously, we don't sell things like cauliflower cheese pies. I mean, maybe some do, but I've never come across one, to be honest. Uh, not, not, you know, at the fish and chip shop or anything like that. I've seen things similar to this before. I'm not sure if I've ever had this before. I don't remember ever having it before. But, um, you know... I've had many things in the past, but I don't remember having this exact one, so. I mean, I got it because it, it was in the reduced section, truthfully. Um, normally, I wouldn't have paid about pound sixty-five or something like this, personally. Um, because for that, I could probably buy a complete pack of sausages and some rice, truthfully. But... Well, I could in the past, I know the prices keep going up, but, you know, that will last me a few days, but. As I said, apart from the fact it might be, maybe I've cooked it, I don't know, because I put it in a small oven, okay. And near the end, I did try to turn the heat up, to be honest, just to speed it up a bit, but. So the top part is a bit, um. Stiff, it may be a bit overcooked, I don't know. It's only way I could be sure it was cooked because it's very cold weather. Well, it's not very, very cold, but it's cold dish by our standards, but it's not by, you know, standards of people living in Russia or somewhere like that, you know. So, um, no, it's quite interesting. Sometime I might see if I can do something like this myself sometime. Quite interesting, actually. Um, you know, with just raw ingredients or something like that. I'll have to look into it sometime. I'll probably forget, to be honest, but there you go. Um, you can do a cheese pie thing. I'm going... As I say, I think it's mostly the cheese flavour for me personally that, stuck, that stands out. And perhaps... And what I did say, I would tell you what was in it. Um... I might have told you where you may have forgotten, but that can, it consists of cauliflower, red cheddar cheese, single cream, palm oil, water, potato, vintage cheddar cheese, onion, 
wholemeal wheat flour, tapioca starch, mature cheddar cheese, corn flour, millet flakes, garlic puree, rapeseed oil, salt, black pepper, parsley, fennel, nutmeg and yeast. Okay, and it stays, it's suitable for vegetarians, which is not mistaken the obvious because there's no meat in it. Um, it's obviously not suitable for vegans because it's got milk in it, but there you go. And now I've just got some of the, the um, pastry left in a minute, which is no one pushes a bit hard to be honest and most people probably just throw it out but I um, just don't like to see so basically it gets a bit stiff okay so there you go guys cauliflower cheese pie Thanks for watching. Bye.